Jackson Radio Show. about this fake news. You were the subject of a fake news story. Oh, yeah, what they say? I was running for president. No, no, no I voted. No, what they say? You switched your support. I switched, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What yeah. do you make of all the fake news that it affects If you, you don't read the newspaper, you're uninformed. If you do read it, you're misinformed. Hmm. Uh-huh. So what do you do? That's a great question. <laughs> what is the long-term effect of too much information? One of the effects is the need to be first, not even to be true anymore. So what a responsibility you all have to be to tell the truth, not just to be first, but to tell the truth. We live in a society now where it's just first. Who cares? Get it out there. We don't care who it hurts. We don't care who we destroy. We don't care if it's true. Just say it. Sell it. Anything you practice, you'll get good at, including BS. Wow. Denzel Washington. Welcome, everybody. Kevin Jackson. It's Kevin Jackson Show. KJRadio.com. The other clip I was going to find from uh, Denzel Washington was him saying, don't get it twisted. We're just acting. You could apply that to the football players. Don't get it twisted, folks. It's just a game. But what he said at the end of that was very profound. What you practice, you'll get good at. Hmm. I wonder if these people who've been practicing covering the lies of the left, covering the Hollywood story. I wonder if you think they're any good at it. Just think about that for just a second. I think they're pretty good. I think they've actually done a very good job of convincing themselves that they're right when in fact they're very wrong. You know the thing about us that you can love us, hate us, whatever you, and when I say us conservatives, what, what you get is consistency. We're, we're not, there's no moral, uh, dr- you know, rift, if you will, when somebody says, oh, how do you feel about theft? It's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong even under the worst circumstances. It's still wrong. You can rationalize it a bit. But you at least have to know it's wrong. You can be hungry and go, I'm going to go steal myself something to eat. I'm starving. And somebody will go, well, geez, they were, he was starving. Kev, the dude didn't have anything to eat. That's why he stole that biscuit. That's why he stole that muffin. Yeah, but somebody made that muffin and wanted to, to sell it, wanted to make money from it in order to pay his or her bills. And what about just asking for it? You see what I'm saying? See, it, to me, the theft is wrong, even under the circumstances. I was stealing it from my kids. My kids were hungry. I understand. Been there. Understand it well. Understand that there are kids in the world who aren't eating, blah, blah, blah. I get it. Can you ask? Is that Was that the only thing you could do? Of course not. But what the left has practiced is they've practiced the art of rationalization. Moral relativity. And you're watching it on full display. There was a a rift between Ben Affleck and the actress that uh, I only have her last name, McGowan. Forget her. I think it's Ro- Rose McGowan. She was in Charmed or some, some movie. And uh, Ben Affleck wrote this. He says, I'm saddened and angry that a man who I worked with used his position of power to intimidate sexually harass and manipulate many women over decades. The additional allegations of assault that I read this morning made me sick. This is completely unacceptable. And I find myself asking what I can do to make sure it doesn't happen to others. And he's talking about the New Yorker article. He got up and read that and he was like, well, so he tweets this out, makes a, makes an announcement. And McGowan, one of the actresses that's mentioned in the New York times report which she first publicly addressed the decades of harassment by Weinstein. She shot back to Ben Affleck and said, you know, I mean, I don't know what she said. They just said it was an expletive. She addressed a tweet. They said, recalling an alleged conversation between the two stars, which suggest Affleck knew about Weinstein's actions. The two worked together in 1998 on phantoms but haven't collaborated since. And here's what she said. 
expletive that he said, expletive. I told him to stop doing that. She says, you said to my face. The press conference I made was to go after assault, to go after assault. You lie. So she's telling Ben Affleck, you know, what he said to her, which is F, I told him to stop doing that. So she's saying you knew he did it. And she says, I was going to do a press conference and go after him on assault. And she says, you lie. And this goes back to Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, um, Russell Crowe and others who who effectively covered for him. Donna Karen is covering for him. The, The dressmaker. What does she know? Let me ask you this, folks. Do you think for one second that this guy hasn't done almost all the things he's accused of? They got eight women he settled with. Many of them coming out of the closet. Angelina Jolie, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow. All these lunatics. These, I mean, if you heard these people talk, they are, they've built around them exactly what Denzel Washington said. They have started, they have so practiced the lie that they're good at it. They don't care who get caught, who gets caught up. They don't care that uh, it's hurt other women since when, how long have they gone before anybody said a word, folks, we're talking decades. I'm thinking back on the the time when these girls were, uh, I saw this girl McGowan, this lady McGowan. And you know, they, they showed her picture from when she was apparently, you know, sexually molested or assaulted by Weinstein. I barely knew her today. This has been so long. She's a matronly, you know, middle-aged woman now and finally coming out. How many of those? And I want you to think about it this way. Think about how powerful some of these women are. They are at the top of their craft. Angelina Jolie can write her own ticket. Ashley Judd, many of them, they can write their own tickets and they're just coming out mirror of Sorvino just coming out think about the ones who didn't get to that level think about where they are they probably still don't have the guts to come out and then you get Ben Affleck who pretends that he's outraged he knew about it and she said it she followed it up with you want to play let's play On Wednesday afternoon, he issued a tweet, get this folks, apologizing to former MTV host Hillary Burton after she accused him of groping her during a 2003 appearance on Total Request Live, writing, Ben Affleck this is, I acted inappropriately toward Ms. Burton and I sincerely apologize. Now Ben Affleck, who's finally admitting that he groped this girl is now appalled and outraged <laughs> at Harvey Weinstein. This is a dude, I think it was messing with his mate. They, they're saying Ben Affleck was screwing around so much on a, on a, what's her face? What's his wife's name? Jennifer Garner or something like that. He's, he's as bad as Weinstein and groping women. And and then we'll have the nerve to not like Donald Trump. Why? Oh, look at how he treats women. No, Donald Trump only said what women will let you do. I can tell. Look, I've I've made this comment before. I was at a place with a very famous athlete, a football player, Hall of Famer, and this guy was groping women in ways. We were at a. It, it was a gentleman's club when I was younger. I was like probably. I may have been 30 hanging out with this hall of famer. He's a friend of mine. We were trying, I was trying to help him do some business and we go to this gentleman's club at his suggestion. He says, the food's great. And by the way, it was, it was spectacular. These girls would come sit in his lap and he's groping these girls where I guarantee you ordinary mortals. We get kicked out. We get kicked out. Girls said nothing. And bouncers, because we were in the VIP area. Bouncers are right there. They don't even look in our direction. That's how it was. 
And I know that for a fact because I sat there and saw it with my own eyes. So don't Ben Affleck and these guys are disingenuous liars and she's calling them out for it. She tweeted this uh, McGowan girl. She tweeted about Weinstein scandal and chastised her fellow actresses in a post on Saturday for failing to stand up. Ladies of Hollywood, your silence is deafening. She wrote. This is a girl that's pulling no punches now. She's saying, you know what? Enough is enough. And it's been long enough. And that's that's what makes all of this so interesting to me. It, this is far gone beyond. This is decades, folks. We're not talking about something fresh and new. This is decades of leftism on display, and they hate it. Kevin Jackson on the Black Sphere Radio Network. Do you owe back taxes to the IRS or state? The secret to avoiding the IRS nightmare is to seek professional representation. My friends at Security Tax Associates provide the most cost-effective and ethical representation in the industry while helping to avoid seizures, levies, and wage garnishments. Security Tax Associates is here to ensure that the appropriate steps are taken to permanently eliminate any possibility of future tax burdens once and for all. For a free, no-obligation consultation, contact Security Tax Associates, 844-779-4177. That's 844-779-4177. 844-779-4177. Or visit them at securitytaxassociates.com.